Hello. Good morning. Uh, good evening. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> um, okay, well, should we dive in? Yep, yeah, I'm muting. So could you go ahead and, and introduce yourself? You know, what's your name? Where do you live? What do you do? Yes, sure. My name is Ala, and I live in Ukraine. I was born in Kharkiv. Uh, it's a very Flowers have been this theme throughout my life where they have connected me to really important moments and really special people. I will be taking several pictures first quite quickly because I have much work, so I have to gather the seeds first of all. Ala is a Ukrainian gardener who specializes in rare plants, especially clematis. This is clematis sangarica sandens, and just look at those seed heads. I'm wanting to build a collection of those plants here on the farm and trying to gather as many varieties as I possibly can. So I was online looking things up and somehow stumbled onto an interview with her and then her beautiful photography. She has these incredible macro photos of like the up close blossoms of all of these different kinds of clematis. They, they really are mesmerizing. And look at these little tiny baggies. Oh my gosh, okay, so let's flip them over. Look at that. Right after I found her and found her website and just like fell into the world that is like her beautiful garden, I ordered, I think, three packets of every single thing that she had available. Yeah, can you believe that? All the way from Ukraine. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, so clematis makes seed and you can sow the seed and all it has the seed. So yeah, here they are. Magic from Ukraine to my garden. This is clematis recta velvet night and it doesn't seed many seeds, so I have to be very careful. I wanted to interview her for the blog, like just a simple written interview. And then as we started talking more, it just became clear really quickly that it needed to be more. Uh, today we have a blackout. It's extremely cold outside, so I decided that I will switch on the generator. Uh, usually I do it um, in the last moment because uh, the price of the fuel is extremely high and uh, uh, an hour work of the generator is virtually golden. My granny, she told me lots of stories about World War II. Those stories, they sounded like a fairy tale in my childhood. And now uh, I still can't believe that I'm living in a war zone. She's living through power outages and no heat and air raid sirens and drone attacks and it is actually dangerous for her to go to the garden, but she has to keep working. The next variety I will be gathering is... She has to care for the plants so that they can make seed, so that she can harvest the seed to sell to support her family. Some of them are already ripe. And buy food and medicine and fuel to heat when the power goes out. Still, despite it all, she is working to put more beauty into the world. In the middle of a war, in a bomb shelter, in the dark, she wrote a book. I think that beauty will prevail over the ugliness of the war. That something productive and creative will prevail over destruction. The garden and the plants are extremely important for me because they motivate me, they motivate me to work, they motivate me to progress, and they motivate me actually to remain alive. Ah, uh, here it is. I'm going to the granny and then I'll see what I will be able to do in the garden. I don't know how I live. It's not the first night. 
Это с самого начала войны. войны. Они так творят, что жить нельзя. And this was the first year when I experimented with uh, angels and I take it home with me. She put so much time and effort and opened up the doors to her life and shared it with us. I also didn't feel like um, that I have something special to show. Yeah, you do. You do. Uh, I gather one seed by one seed. Uh-huh. This one is ready. It seems to be working. Thanks God. Now I'm going to make some warm food. Actually, having only two hands it's rather, rather difficult. Hey Ella, it's Erin. I am out in the Dahlia breeding patch. I was thinking about you today. These are your seeds, Erin. Here they are. Just look how beautiful they are. My hope for Ella from this film is that well, of course, on a very practical level, that people order her seeds and that they read her book and that they follow her on social media and help support her and her family through this time. But I think more than anything, I hope that the world sees her and everything that she's contributing to make the world a more beautiful place. Ollie, you did so well. This was beautiful. So beautiful. Everything that you said. I oh, mean, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. My bamboo grow is pressed to the ground by the snow. It is lying on the ground. And do you know, while I was walking along my bamboo grove, I was thinking that right in the moment, I'm just like this bamboo, pressed but unbroken.